You know, when it comes down to it, I'm like one of the last people that should be reviewing a blaster like this. I am definitely not the target demographic for this thing. Usually the Hasbro Nerf Marvel line is almost exclusively for small children, like they don't have range claims or anything on them, and generally they're not very great. This time, you really do want to pay attention, because Thor's Hammer Strike Hammer thing is actually really unique, interesting, and fun. And it also has a little bit of mod potential in it, which is quite surprising for a blaster like this. And it works in a unique way that makes it super flippin' fun to use. I was not expecting to like this blaster as much as I do. So what does $20 get you in the nerf world? Well, honestly, not a whole heck of a lot. Or does it? This is not what I'd call a $20 blaster, but it does do something vaguely interesting, and that's why we're looking at it. And now that I have actually paid attention to this, I'm really regretting not shelling out the $20 for the Vibranium Claw in the same Nerf Power Moves line. So please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below if I should pick that up, because if this video gets a certain amount of views, I can definitely afford to pick that up. So why don't you help me out with this one, please? Because I'm really interested, because it says Hammer Strike launches the dart. So apparently the little blue trigger is not actually a trigger, but more of like a lock, and it actually has like a motion sensing mechanism to fire its dart. There are no range claims, there's just this really, man, he is super excited to have that hammer. But there's, and there's a Thor, and there's a, there's a kid on the back, and there's a Thor on the front. I'm, I'm super curious, let's, let's we have to open this thing now, because this is one of the weirdest blasters I have seen in quite some time, and I always like weird, weird blasters. Open! Coming right. Turn up! Oh my god, it's got like, plastic thing that, like, hold it in... That's... That is super weird. Okay. Why not? And it's got a tag on it that says... Please read. To activate, press and hold button continuously while performing character move. See, please see instructions. Will not work by only pressing button. Will not work by performing char by only performing character moves. That's right. You need to shore you can in order to let this thing actually fire a dart. I should really test that. And there's really not a whole lot on the instructions manual except for load dart, pull thing, press trigger, and hammer strike. Stop! Hammer time. And it has storage in the grip. Okay, that's that's just freaking cool. Okay, I'm I'm more on board with it. So we wield the mighty Mjolnir. Is that how you say it? Mjolnir? Uh oh, these are rubber. Like a foam, like a end strike. End for that's like end force. That's really nice foam. It's uh it is way too hard. That's that's meant for you to not damage other things, not damage other people, or your because oh my god, that hurts. And uh, as been pointed out by one Luchathor, these plates right here are actually rubber, which is even more interesting. But the rest of it is hard plastic. Jack rides and press the button and this might be the coolest thing ever. Jack rides. <laughs> That is... Yeah, well, that dart's gone. <laughs> uh, accuracy? Maybe an issue? Can I... Can I... I can't just, like... No, but if I do... That's... That's flipping cool! It hits... It hits reasonably, too! Like, that is an elite blaster in there! Alright, uh... I'm sold! Uh, let's see how this thing performs outside, because, uh... This is one of the coolest things ever. <laughs> Not bad! You might have been able to catch that one-handed. Maybe. Alright. <laughs> I knew it! Where did that go? Oh, God. Like, why was that so bad right there? Really Too much oomph? Too little oomph? 
You could. That's war worthy. I try to get it back. Ah. I guess the real question is, can you do it like sideways? Like, can you gangster shot Thor's hammer? <laughs> oh, that was very close. It was actually very close, but you could just load yours and shoot me. You need to put a scope on your hammer. <laughs> oh, dude, right here. Just paper yeah, yeah. We need to put some rails on that thing. I mean, it's basically dart punching. That's like rival rage right there. That's the funniest part about that one. All right. See if your normal, your modded hammer can get it back. Holy balls. Find out. By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> it requires some practice. It'd probably be easier to just go like that. Actually, I bet that would work flawlessly. Yeah. If you have to actually snipe without modifying it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the secret right there. Oh, ah! That's it. We've mastered it. So the real question, oh no, because it has a lock. I was gonna like, you can just tape down the button and toss it. Nope. I wonder if it's all in the flick. <laughs> I don't know where that went. That went the complete opposite direction. I'm done. I, I can't believe this thing is as good as it is. Yeah, okay, accuracy, kind of a problem when you know you're holding it like that. And you're like, there's so much utility that you can hook it and prime it one-handed. It's, it's the best. It's better than a hammer shot. I'll just outright say it. this thing is better than a hammer shot. You can also, here, just dry fired it. You can also just go like that. Utility. Is it worth $20? You're paying that because, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here and it's a bit much, but this is, I would, if you're interested at all, I would pick one of these things up. The only problem really is that this could have just been like a little trigger. I would have been fine with it being less complicated for the fact that this just being a trigger. So I could just kind of go ha ha and shoot lightning bolts or something. And the darts didn't come with like little lightning bolts or anything on them, which they should have. But I mean, I wasn't the only one that had that issue. Cause uh, he was down there the entire time. Jose modded his. Oh, oh, hey, I got some too. It just now hit the ground. These things are actually really strong. He already modded it and it really, it's not very hard. You just put like a, a screw where like the little lever that pushes down the catch is. Cause there's like a big weight in here that when you swing it, it moves an arm, which pushes down the catch. You just put a little screw in that catch piece and then you just press it down with that and it works fine. And honestly, probably better. I love it. I think the only thing I want to do is put like the actual like tassel thing on it. So it'd be really easy for you to swing around and have it primed and then actually shoot the thing. It's, it's a wonderful, cool, innovative little toy and it really does make me want to get some of the other ones in the line. I don't know if I'll pick up any of them. Like there's the Black Widow one, there's a Captain America one. I think there's a Spider-Man one, but the one I'm most interested in, even though it looked kind of garbo, was like the Black Panther vibranium claw. Cause I think, I thought it might've had like a trigger on the side. I didn't really take a good look at it, but you put darts into it, you prime it. And then I think you can punch or slash or something into the fire. I kind of doubt it. I'm sure it's just a little finger trigger. I wasn't noticing. Wham! Ah! Oh. Wham! Okay, you can't really aim with it, but it's cool. I, I definitely recommend picking it up. And because the internals are pretty much a fire strike, even though the catches on everything are really not good, there's a possibility you could probably get some decent FPS out of this stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. I, I'm definitely dual wielding hammers. 
that, that's it. That's the video right there. That is the uh, crap. That is the. So you can just be like, ha 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 ha, and then load that, and then and then ha ha. Fire dart. It's cool. It's so cool. I love it. What do you think? You like it? Yes. You always gotta make it long and awkward, don't you? <laughs>